Hello, this is my E-Type. 1963 is the registration, built in 1962, uh, the way that I got the car in its appearance. It's been restored mechanically at this point in time, but uh, the paint, as you can see, is all the uh, silver with the red interior. The historic Red Hook Diner in my town uh, has uh, just the greatest kind of like view when you, you want to put an old car in front of it, it looks great, I think. I, fo I found a really great restoration shop that specializes in this type of car, uh, or antique cars and classics. So I knew they would be able to handle the project. After they started taking off the paint, I found there were a couple imperfections that I really wasn't aware of. Uh, the previous uh, owner had done some pretty uh, careful body work or cover uh, to, to fill in the area where uh, there had been what looks like a little bit of crash damage in the back. It just didn't make sense to try to hammer any more than was already done, uh, so let's get some new parts for it. This guy uh, has a, a company called the Monocoque Metalworks, and he does fantastic uh, sheet metal work, uh, replacing parts uh, for E-types, so we got some uh, bits of sheet metal and had those welded in. Now on to the process of uh, just uh, stripping the paint off and figuring out uh, exactly what needs to be done, you know, what's hiding underneath that silver paint. For a silver paint job car, it really didn't look too bad, but I really wanted to get it back to the original color. When I did all of my uh, mechanical restorations, I figured as eventually one day I would bring the car back to uh, its original color of claret. So I painted the subframes in the engine bay uh, claret prior to restoring the engine and all of that stuff. As you can see here, uh, my engine is all uh, exposed because the bonnet has been removed. The car really is in great shape. There's not really a lot of flaws with it. The floors were in great uh, shape. There's a little bit of surface rust in a few places, but nothing really significant. Getting the interior all ripped out uh, so that uh, we could uh, complete the paint job, taking the windshield out. These guys uh, at the shop, they're just really ace uh, performers when it comes to dealing with my E-Type. As you can see, various stages of it uh, getting prepped. For those of you who have seen the videos that I've got on the, the uh, bonnet support, I talk about some damage that had been done to the bonnet uh, by, you know, in its previous lifetime and that would explain why this crate is sitting here. This crate contains a brand new uh, bonnet uh, manufactured by Jaguar. It just happened to be in stock at a, at a dealer, uh, parts dealer, uh, not too far from me. I feel very fortunate that I didn't have to wait months and months for it. Inside the crate, you can see a full, complete Jaguar manufactured uh, bonnet. Uh, obviously, there is some skill that's gonna be needed uh, to trim it and adjust it so that it'll fit properly. But it is a thing of beauty to see, especially uh, because it really needed it. So here it is on the car, getting its uh, trial fittings and getting it, it uh, set. Obviously, you know, gaps and uh, alignment is critical when it comes to uh, putting on a new bonnet. Putting the headlight. Uh, uh, headlight uh, glass in so that we can make sure that everything's going to fit properly. Uh, they did a really great job getting it ready. So in this slide, it's the first time I actually see any of the new color on the car itself. Uh, you can see how they do the sub or the. Uh, the sill areas and in the floor and in the trunk, all because uh, th this can be done uh, outside of the paint booth uh, because it's ultimately going to get covered up with interior uh, materials uh, or uh, floor uh, carpetings and whatnot.
So here we go. This is the first time I've actually seen uh, the, the color of the car. Uh, it came out of the body of the paint shop or paint room and they're going to do the wet sanding and getting it all uh, uh, prepped up. So here we go. In the lights in the shop, uh, it really doesn't do justice to the, the true color of the car. Uh, it should be looking like a dark purple uh, claret wine uh, type of color. Here it looks a little off to me, but you'll see in other, other views uh, where the color starts to come out correctly. They start to put the, the uh, polish on it, and it just pops. I mean, I have to say, I, <laughs> when I saw the car in this full color, I was like, oh my god, this is really amazing. I was chatting with some guys in an E-Type forum and showing pictures of this color and I was curious how many cars were ever painted uh, claret and the words coming back from some archivist uh, who is, uh, has a great reputation that there were only four cars ever painted in claret, uh, period. So. I, when I heard that I was like, wow, that's why I've never seen one in this color before. I think in this view here, you can really start to see the proper color. The lights at this point in time uh, really bring out the proper uh, shade of claret. I want to point out that they really didn't have to do a lot of uh, body work to the uh, main part of the car. The, the driver's side door had a little bit of rust at the bottom of it, uh, and the passenger side needed a little work there, and the, the sills under the, the doors needed a little bit of work. but really pretty minor when you consider the, the totality of doing uh, a, a JAG paint job. There was that bit of uh, work that needed to be done at the back, yes, that's, uh, that came out perfectly. And then the brand new bonnet. So, you know, when you put all that in, yes, it becomes, uh, becomes a pretty major uh, project, but now uh, everything is in really great shape and, and I'm just very, very happy with the progress. took a couple of pictures uh, uh, of the interior 
with the, uh, the actual material all ripped off. So you could see that underneath that red uh, interior that was put in, uh, that, you know, claret, this is the original color of the car. The whole, uh, whole body was done in that color. So the guys are making really good progress. It won't be long and it will be on the road.